my first introductory lesson to Adobe Bridge CS4. Um, I'm going to be creating a picture gallery in uh, Bridge because I thought it was pretty interesting. And let's get started. Okay, on top here, you have your option to output to web or PDF. You select that. Uh, there's a box on the right that shows PDF or web gallery. Um, obviously, web gallery is going to be selected. Um, we're going to shift click the images that we want. All the assets are in the middle, and this is to my desktop. So I'm going to shift and click the four images. Um, on the right here uh, is all the information that gets translated into XML. Uh, you have gallery title, gallery caption, my pictures. Um, is the gallery caption right now about the galleries. So it says test gallery. And I gave the gallery title a name, Jonathan's Gallery. If you scroll down here, you can change the color and all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to leave it as is for now. And if we go further down here, um, we can give the gallery a name and I call it a test and we can save it to disk or upload it directly to the website. I like to uh, test it out locally before I send it to the website so I'm going to choose save to disk. Let me browse and I'm going to create a folder on my desktop and we call it test gallery. And that's the folder uh, that's going to receive all the assets. And that should be it. I can save now. And what's going to happen is Bridge is going to develop uh, picture gallery in uh, Flash and it's going to be embedded in HTML. Now the greatest thing about this obviously is that it's doing all the work for you and it's done. So let's test that locally. Um, there's my folder in the desktop called test gallery. And they called it index. I'm going to change that because I don't like anything being called index except my home page my website. But um, here we go. Here's the gallery. Four images nice motion tween between the, the images you can go full screen or split here are the controls you, they have an autoplay in it I mean you can't get much better than this for uh, ge auto generated picture gallery uh, as of now with bridge um, so this is pretty cool um, it took literally a minute to do this um, and that's excellent time so let's get it up to the website I'm going to rename the HTML document that holds a Swift file, I'm going to call it Gallery. And these are all my resources, by the way. I double click that. It shows you all the files that Bridge outputted. So let's do this. Let's take the test gallery, throw it into my Designs by Jonathan web folder. That's where my website sits. We're going to go to Dreamweaver. I'm going to refresh the local files. And right here is the folder, Test Gallery. So let me put it to my website. It's going to ask me if I want to put the dependent files and click yes. Basically that means that if I put something like an HTML file, am I going to put all the other files that rely on it, like the JavaScript or the um, image files, all that kind of good stuff. And it's loading right now. And while that's loading, I'm going to open up Firefox to put the URL to see that it worked properly. So we can go www.designsbyjonathan.com forward slash test gallery forward slash. Let's just see the subfolder that we put it into. It's under test and then gallery.html. Let's go back here. Test forward slash gallery dot html and there we have a working picture gallery from bridge I thought this was a great feature that bridge offered um, it was my first time using it a few weeks ago um, I never really had a need for bridge uh, to organize my assets for my website but I started using it recently and I thought this was pretty cool 